Hi, my name is Gavin Blaistra, and today I'm going to be going over how to control uh, Dynamixels with Everyday Electronics. Um, this is going to be a, the first part in a video series. I'm going to start off with a uh, potentiometer uh, in the form of this joystick because I feel like it will be the most impactful for uh, a lot of the users of our Dynamixel. Um, to do this, you're going to need an uh, Arduino Uno, uh, you're going to need a Dynamixel Shield. Uh, any Dynamixel, um, depending on the model, you might have to do some different things. Um, an LN101, um, in case you want to get real-time feedback, uh, and uh, SMPS power alongside some various cables and uh, connectors. All right, um, I'm going to begin by uh, taking, putting everything together, um, and then we're going to go ahead and jump into code. Okay, so here's everything hooked up. Um, we have our Dynamixel hooked up to our Dynamixel Shield, and our Dynamixel Shield is plugged into our Arduino right here. Um, we have the power going in, SMPS power. This is a USB Type-B into my computer. Um, and uh, this right here is the, is the UART, or the LN101, um, which is basically a secondary UART for the Arduino, allowing you to get real-time data. Um, everything here this is the, the potentiometer, which is the star of the show. It's color coordinated. Yellow is signal, red is power, and green is ground. Um, red, green is going into the ground on the Arduino. Um, red is going into five volts, and signal right here is going into um, analog one. Um, uh, yeah, potentiometers are an analog signal, so that, that's important. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and jump fully into the code. Okay, here we are inside of Arduino. Um, before you can use our example codes, you have to download the libraries that, that are associated with them. To do that, you go into Tools, Manage Libraries, and then the first library that you want to download is Dynamixel. Excuse me, Dynamixel to Arduino. It's two with a T, with a, uh, the letter two right here. I already have it installed, but you want to install this one. And then after that, you want to install uh, the Dynamixel Shield. It should just pop up when I push Dynamixel and S right here. And this will be all the example code specifically for the Dynamixel Shield. Um, so once that's done, once, once that's done, you can go f into your files, into examples, and then scroll all the way down to from custom libraries. And because we're using the Dynamixel Shield, you want to use the Dynamixel Shield library. Um, for the potentiometer, we're going to be using velocity mode. It'll pop up a new window, um, and here we are. Um, to explain what's going on here, um, I'll, I'll run through the code really quick to, to give you an example. Um, so this is your include file, including this library, and this library references the Arduino 2 Dynamixel library. Um, it, these if statements uh, are basically setting up what specific Arduino you're using. Um, and what um, ports their um, UART connectors are. Um, so this is starting the soft serial for your Dynamixel shield. Um, and then down here, this is starting up your USB serial, which is, I, I believe, is the LN101, so that you're able to um, get real-time feedback. Um, this is where you describe what Dynamixel, what ID the Dynamixel you're using is. So this is DXL ID, and this is saying it's equal to one. Um, and you can change this. You can put DXL ID like two, three, four, five, as many Dynamixels as you want, I think like up to two, uh, 256, and change their IDs that way. Um, so this is z nothing and then one. The protocol, we're using a 2.0 protocol, um, so that works out fine. Um, and then this is uh, going to be your setup. This is where you begin your serial. Um, this serial.begin is for debugging through the, via the LN101. Um, and then this is beginning the actual serial communication with the Dynamixel. Um, yes. Uh, and into your main loop, this is where you're actually going to be telling the Dynamixel to do things. Um, and then there's right here, there's actually three examples of how 
they can be controlled in velocity mode. So there's uh, this is going to be using the raw unit. Um, this is like the maximum and minimum the range of values that a dynamics wheel can achieve in velocity, which is negative 255 to positive 255, I believe. Um, this is going to be velocity using RPM, revolutions per minute. Um, so this is saying like DXL ID 25.8 and then unit RPM. So this is controlling using RPM and this is using percentage from negative 100 to positive 100. Um, for this example, we're going to be using the raw value because um, that's what I've practiced with. Um, but any of these will work. You just have to change your map function around. Okay, so let's go ahead and remove all of this. Actually, I'll show what this looks like when it runs uh, and give you an example of what it looks like. So this is your Dynamixel here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip it on, and you should see it blink. I'm going to flip it to upload, um, and then this is important to do, by the way. This determines how the UR is communicating, whether or not it's going to be in upload or run. Um, so towards the switch is upload, away from the switch is run. Um, we're going to go ahead and make sure our COM port is set correctly. 29 is Arduino. 30 is going to be the LN101 for a live um, serial communication. We're going to upload. Okay, almost done. Done uploading. And now we're going to go ahead and switch to run, and then we're going to restart our our, our uh, Uno, and you'll see there it is running. And I'll change uh, speeds three times because it's basically cycling between the three different control modes. Um, so the first one is velocity. Now, um, there's, I'm realizing there's one thing I forgot to talk about, and that's in the original code. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this back over and re-upload this. Um, and that's how the LN101 works. So right here, this is serial.print. Um, but this is debug serial.print. So this isn't printing over the same COM port, COM port 29, because that entire COM port is being taken up to run the Dynamixel. This is basically going into the LN101, which has its own dedicated UART, uh, making it able to communicate uh, this information also. So let's go ahead and upload this. Done uploading. We're going to switch to run and reset the Dynamixel, and you'll see that it's going to do that same uh, three phases, and then we're going to switch from COM port 29 to COM port 30, which is where the LN101 is, and we're going to go serial monitor. And it's going to show you the, the things that we wanted it to print. Um, if you don't do this, if you think that you can just see that the, the values um, from that serial monitor that you, you're used to, it's going to come out as question marks and triangles, and it's not going to give you any information. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take this code and uh, modify it so that it actually works um, or that we can actually use it with the uh, potentiometer. So the only th actual piece of code that you need is this uh, dxl.setvelocity um, uh, portion, this function. Um, so we're going to go ahead and start with uh, int um, uh, uh, value. This is going to be the value from our potentiometer. Um, and to get that, we need to do an analog um, an analog read, um, and then we need to say that's from pin zero. Um, after that, we need to take that value and we need to map it so that it's correct for our Dynamixel, um, because the voltage from this will be between zero and 1023. Um, so we need to take value and set it equal to um, map, and then we're going to go um, uh, that same value and then say between 0 and uh, 1023 um, parentheses and then we're going to set its range and the the Dynamixel's raw range is negative 255 um, to positive 255 um, so with that done now we have to save it uh, save this this to a pin basically so we're going to go analog right and then we're going to analog wrote, analog write, and we're going to say uh, nine comma um, value, and that will save it. After this, we're going to go down here to where it says 200, um, which is basically saying the, vol the velocity, and we're going to say value. Um, now this should work. Let's see. Um, it's on the correct COM port. Now let's go ahead and upload. 
Ah, I've forgotten semicolons on everything. The bane. Classic, classic issue. Okay, and that should work. Ugh, one more semicolon I forgot. Upload. And I need to flip this to upload. Okay, so that's done uploading. Make sure that this is on. Flip it to run. Reset the, the Arduino. And now it should be tied to, yes, tied to this joystick. Okay. Um, so I, I hope that has, that's helped you guys out. Um, I, I hope this has been useful to anyone that has, is looking to uh, modify example code or um, you know uh, they didn't know where to start with implementing new stuff. Um, I'll have the, uh, uh, the the code that I used, basically just a snippet of the, the actual uh, text and the description below along with uh, where the names of the two libraries I used, which is the Dynamixel 2 Arduino and the Dynamixel Shield. Um, if there's any electronics that you want to see implemented using a Dynamixel or like any simple like uh, showcase of uh, uh, sensors, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps us out. Uh, and I hope you have a fantastic day.